Hello everyone, how's it going? I am Wild Crandor, and welcome back to Fishing with Crandor. We're on like episode 12 or something, and today I'm joined by... Hello! It's me! Hello, <laughs> Hello me. Hi! Uh, <laughs> Sips. How are you? It's Hi. Sips. Hi. Hey. Uh, 12 episodes of fishing, holy crap. Yeah, That's it's a lot been of fishing. I literally was just like one day like it'd be cool if I'm in a show where I talk to people about WoW nostalgia and stuff because like nobody ever really talks about it. They just kind of rant about it on the forums. So yeah. it might be fun to do something like that. Plus I get to actually talk to people that I've only met like a couple times or talked to on Skype. Like there's a lot of people I've like seen them at conventions be like, yo, like we should do stuff together. I'm like, yeah, and then I we don't. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> kind of like a YouTube thing, isn't it? You yeah. meet people that are on YouTube and you're like, hey... Oh man, I got this great idea. We should do this, and then you get back home, and you're like, "Whoa, I gotta go back to doing like all the other stuff that I do." <laughs> Just yeah. Totally forget about all these cool ideas you had and stuff. This yeah. is great, though, man. I yeah. mean, I like fishing in WoW, but it's also nice to fish with someone and talk to them at the same time. I know, right? I always pictured just like the two old men out on a boat, or like the family of like the bloodline of like the grandfather, the father, and the son, just like. Let me teach you how it's done back from yeah. when I used to do it in the 1920s. God, and, and like, of course, in the 1920s, people did, like, avidly fish as well. Like, much yeah. more so than now. Yeah. Now they just put a big net on the back of a boat and it's just, like, <laughs> whatever. Catch yeah. a billion fish and go home. But, yeah, it used to Super be Super simplified. Yeah. Casuals. They, they, just like, they, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cash in the 1920s. Get on my level. A million fish today alone. That's right. <laughs> I think I have a fishing rod here somewhere, but I guess I'm just like opting for the stick. Yeah, I, I've been using the stick in like every episode. Really? Yeah. Is it like your signature thing now? I guess so. I mean, I do have like the, I think it's on my druid, the like Calawak fishing pole. Oh, like, yeah. Really cool one from Wrath. But That's a nice one. That's yeah, I like one. that so. one. I got, uh, like, I haven't um, logged in for a while, right? Like, it's mm -hmm. been a while since I last played WoW. Because, you know, you, it's just the way that it goes, right? We were talking about this earlier. Like, you, you get that, like, progressive burnout of WoW every expansion. And, like, Draenor, I played for, like, a month mm -hmm. very heavily. And then I, I stopped playing. So, like, I haven't played since they added, like, the shipyards and stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, I got this, um, I got a pet called Graves. I have no idea what it is or... What it's all about? Have yeah. you ever seen him before? Oh, I think that's from uh, Heroes of the Storm. Oh, or like Gollum. So if oh, you play Heroes of, of the Storm, yeah, you get a little pet, the Gollum guy. Oh shit! Little Gollum guy. Oh, I've got this little Argy, the little um, space goat thing as well. Oh yeah, the space goat too. Where is he? Graves. I have to see him in action. Okay, here he comes. You ready? <laughs> Are we allowed to play with pets while we're fishing, or is that like? Yeah, a that's fine. Run? Oh, here no, he comes. I don't know. Oh man, look at him. We get a nice little zoom in on him here. Oh shit, yeah. It's like sort of <laughs> there. Oh, he's got a little lantern and everything. Yeah, look at that. That is nice. That is cool. Man, I fucking love pets. I like how you <laughs> cannot play a game for months and log back in and then yeah. just sent you something something nice in the mailbox. Like, <laughs> almost like reinforces that. Like already playing this for like an hour or whatever, I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll try the new raids and stuff. Like yeah. it's just, like that slippery slope back in <laughs> former addictions. Yeah, which is weird. Like a 10 year old game, you're still like, yeah, it seems pretty fun. Yeah. I want to play. I like people how. say that all the time. Like, it's old, but like, just because something's old doesn't mean it's not fun anymore. Like, there's games I played a long time ago that are still really fun. Yeah. Like, look at Age of Empires and stuff. That game's like super old. And I, can, I can still play that. God, yeah. I remember getting Age of Empires for Christmas one year, mm -hmm. and I had a computer that couldn't even run it. <laughs> yeah, but it was like I was I, I just was so looking forward to playing it. I don't even know why I was really looking forward to playing it because I remember like reading reviews about it and stuff. And it was like, yeah, you start off as cavemen and you have to collect <laughs> berries and stuff. I was like, wow, that, <laughs> that sounds, sounds great. Amazing. I can't <laughs> wait to play this. But then it like it didn't work and stuff. But yeah, so there's some real golden oldies out there, isn't there? Like not yeah. even just for the PC, right? Like old Nintendo games. Mm -hmm. Games and like stuff. I always love Banjo Kazooie on Nintendo 64, and I ended up like let's playing it. Nice. And it was a very fun experience because like when I played it as a kid, I was just a dumb kid that was like, 
oh, I'm going to play the game. And I got to, like, the end of it, but I didn't, like, collect enough jigsaw puzzles or whatever, so I never got to beat the end boss. So I was like, now that I'm older and understand these things, I'm going to beat this game. And I ended up beating it, and it was a great moment in my life. I felt like nice. I'd, like it was like a rite of passage. Like a huge achievement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get that. I mean, I remember being a dumb kid, too, and playing games and not really understanding, like, that you had to, like, you know, get all the jigsaw puzzle pieces and stuff like that. Yeah. It's nice to go back and sort of, like, make up for that in a way. Yeah. I remember doing that with Super Mario World. I remember the first time I played Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Like, just blasted through it because, like, you know, I wanted to, like, say that I finished it before all my friends and stuff like that. But then, like, a couple of years later, I, like, went back and played through it and collected all 96 stars and went to all those crazy, like, acid trip zones and stuff like that <laughs> that you have to, like, unlock. And it was really fun, actually. It was, like, a really good, really good thing to do. And I felt, like, tremendously satisfied after the end, after doing it, too. Just thought, yeah, exactly. Oh. Like, it's, it's like you're just, revisiting your past, too. You're revisiting it, but also um, you're, like, making it better. Yeah. You're rewriting history. <laughs> rewriting history. It's like Back to the Future, sort of. <laughs> yeah, because I, mean, yeah, I play... Like, everybody has those games where, like, they played them a lot as a kid, and, like, they just want to go back and, like, revisit them or do better or, like, fill in the void that they'd miss. Although there are some games, like, I remember I had Kirby Tetris, and I went back and played that, and I, like, beat it as a kid, and I, like, couldn't get past level two. I was like... Wow, I was a lot better at this when I was a kid. Oh, man. I, I don't think I can play Tetris now because I watched, like, some Korean guy play Tetris on level 99. And it was, like, the blocks were dropping so fast. He had, like, a <laughs> split second to, you know, position Analyze it or whatever. It and, yeah. and he was doing it. And he was using, like, this, like, old, like, arcade machine to play it as well with, like, the, you know, the joystick, proper joystick sticking up and the two buttons and stuff. And I saw that, and I just thought, well, that's it. Tetris is done for me. Like, I'll never be able to play at that level, so what's the point? Like, yeah. it's only cool if you can do that now. Like, forget head-to-head -head mode on your Game Boy or whatever. Like, that's 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 for kids. Yeah. This, this Korean guy is rewriting the Tetris rule book <laughs> right in front of my very eyes. I can't handle it. Oh, man. Uh, so, yeah. like, you know, on the topic of you know, reliving your past achievements and stuff like that. We mm -hmm. were saying before that now in WoW you can like revisit the old dungeons and level lock yourself mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Have you done any of that? Are you still like so into WoW that you would do that or? I, I mean, haven't that... actually. It I haven't really fun. like, yeah, it does sound like fun. I just haven't like gotten around to it. Like I've never been like, all right, you know what I feel like doing? Go and doing some old dungeons. Like, I just yeah. haven't had that feeling happen yet. Like, it very could well happen, like, today or something. Because today they're announcing the new WoW expansion, too. Maybe I'll, like, see the new WoW expansion. It's going to really motivate me. Like, man, I want to play some WoW. Oh, man, yeah. I got, you got to love when they announce a new expansion, like, with the trailer mm -hmm. and everything. Like, remember when they announced Draenor? And yeah. They showed the trailer and everything, and you're just like, oh, man. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm a grown man. And, like, I don't cry very often or even <laughs> yeah. really feel tearful or whatever. But there's something about Blizzard trailers. I don't know what it is. But, like, I remember, like, at BlizzCon last year. When I, well, I, I, I saw you there at BlizzCon yeah. last year. You did. We at ate at IHOP. We, yeah, we had pancakes. <laughs> and I, I think we ate at IHOP multiple times, actually. Yeah. Which, is, which was nice, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you got to love some IHOP. But um, <laughs> I remember watching the, the trailer for Legacy of the Void. Right. Mm -hmm. And when they showed it and I was like, oh, you know, Starcraft 2. I really like Starcraft 2. I really liked it when it came out and everything. I was kind of into it and stuff. But like I haven't played it for a while. I haven't mm -hmm. been into it or whatever. And I thought, you know, Legacy of the Void trailer is going to be just this very Starcrafty trailer, you know, with like lots of fucking space marines shooting aliens and stuff. And like, you know, I'm, I kind of can't wait for them to get through it so I can see like the next trailer or whatever they're going to show. And then fucking... You know, Zeratul's given his big speech about the Protoss and everything, and you're like, yeah, yeah whatever. And then at, right at the end, when he's like, my life for ire, and you're like, oh! <laughs> like, you've been, like, stabbed in the heart or something. Like, it's just like the... I don't know how they do Zeratul it. Zeratul just stabbed you in the heart. Like... Yeah, and you're like, oh, well, maybe I should play StarCraft 2 again. Uh, it's, oh, it's just... There's just something about it. I, like, yeah. 
I love that feeling. Like I can't wait to watch like the the new reveal trailer for the next expansion. It's I can so too. Sad. And it's like it has that feeling of like a fresh start, like new hope, like new beginnings. It's like a sports team. Yeah. You know that like it's a new season. Like this could be it. You know? Yeah, it's like the Mighty Ducks, and they <laughs> kicked out the fat guy, and they're like, he couldn't do the flying knee. That's why we got this new guy, it's like a Ferrari, going to transform the team. It's, oh my I god! I just feel like we've. It's almost like in Wrath of the Lich King, like Vanilla WoW. I feel like we had some. We had a good season. You know, it was like the first season ever, and then like strong, Burning Crusade. Yeah. I thought we made like a strong like playoff showing. Wrath of the Lich King, I thought we went, like, you know, like, undefeated and won the championship. Yeah, yeah. I was like, like that's shut great. Out. Shut yeah, out. Yeah, shut out. Playoffs. Cataclysm. Totally. I feel like we barely made the playoffs and then kind of, yeah. like, lost the first round. Like, well, you know. Yeah. Uh, then Miss the Pandaria, I felt like we almost made the playoffs. And then I feel like with Warlords of Draenor, we, like, hit, like, three wins and, like, 20 losses and need to, like, rebuild the team. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> Warlords of Draenor gets a really bad rap, doesn't it? It, it yeah. was one of those expansions where everybody was so hopeful that it was going to be the big one to get everyone back into WoW, and mm -hmm. it kind of worked at first, didn't it? it yeah, like, Cause, I mean, it went back up to ten million. Yeah, and everybody's really excited and stuff. But then, I think like a lot of people played the shit out of it for a month or whatever, mm -hmm. and then burnt out, and then because they're down, back down to what like five. Six million 5. now. Point six, which is the lowest it's been since two thousand and like six in Vanilla. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So I saw someone was like, "We really did go back in time, back to the vanilla sub number." I mean, at the same time, it's still far from being a dead game, though. I yeah. mean, that's still a lot of people with active subscriptions playing like every day and yeah, stuff. It is. I mean, I haven't played for months, and even now, like I've logged in and there's people online in my guild and stuff. Like, mm -hmm just doing whatever, playing with their garrisons or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just, just fiddling around with my garrison over here. <laughs> it's like it's like a dollhouse or something. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> so, like, there's still obviously that appeal. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's it's weird. I, I wonder if Draenor was... I think, I think Draenor was cool. I think the setting was cool mm -hmm. because it was a familiar setting, but it yeah. was different and better because Outland was, was smashed up and kind of mm -hmm. ugly at parts and, and yeah. stuff and you know you, you you definitely got that feeling that it was like a war-torn planet or yeah. or whatever but but maybe too much um or so much so whereas like draenor is, is very like beautiful and untouched and everything and mm -hmm. it was and it was nice but i don't know i think the next expansion has to have like a really awesome setting like for it to be i don't know i always I think... look back and i think how come they don't just like improve some of the zones in like in Azeroth? Because yeah, I have the same feelings. You know, a lot of them are still on fire from Cataclysm, which happened <laughs> yeah. a long time ago. <laughs> it's time to put out the fires. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. You know, maybe they could like remove Deathwing's um, claw print from Stormwind and stuff like that. You mm. know, maybe it's time. Or has that already been done? Uh. I don't know. I don't know if it's been done. I think about it. Maybe like in the major cities it has been, but like I know a lot of zones still have like the cataclysm stuff in them. Cuz I went I, I leveled through all of them again. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, what cataclysm did for leveling in Azeroth was great though, right? The quests and mm -hmm. stuff were very good. It was like, really good. I remember um it was at Hillsbrad. Remember the guy Remember the quest in Hillsbrad where you become a quest giver and you yeah. have all those, the different heroes coming up to you and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I remember Man, that. Man, I laughed so hard. Like I just thought that that was the greatest quest line. It was so mm. so good. It and was like really good. you know, like a lot of people look back on Cat Cataclysm and say it wasn't like the greatest expansion and stuff like that. But again, I think it's a bit like Draenor where I think expectations were so high. Yeah. And it just it just didn't deliver to like those high expectations, but I think it was still like an okay expansion. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of stuff that came out in it that was very good. I really enjoyed, like, yeah, like you said, but like, I didn't really appreciate Cataclysm back when it was there. But like, after re-leveling through everything, I see like they really did do a lot. It was just yeah. a lot of it was in the older zones where like not a lot of people wanted to make alts or re-level, so they didn't really get to see it. Yeah, I I almost got the feeling that they sort of thought, you know, we're gonna we've got all all of this like 
real estate that you like, mm. like in Azeroth. <laughs> you know, let's just keep chopping and changing it. Let's like, like, let's make the world feel alive or whatever. But then because Cataclysm wasn't as popular as they thought it would be, I think maybe they just thought, OK, that's not the way to go. You know, we have to introduce yeah. like new zones every time and they have to be better and bigger and whatever. And I guess the ultimate one now is like this Draenor. It's like this whole new yeah. world. <laughs> <laughs> Aladdin, <laughs> um, but you know, based you know off off off, a, off an old one as well, which is like kind of a funny concept. The whole alternate, yeah. you know, reality and everything was was a bit weird as as well. But it kind of worked. It was it was pretty cool. But it'd be really interesting to see what what comes next. The thing was We're, like with Draenor, like with that whole storyline of like going back in time and everything. Like I thought it was really cool at first, and I was like, yeah, this is really cool. We get to see all the old like. Warcraft dudes and like everything and then the more I played it the less I cared Which was interesting. So like I really did care at first. I was like this would be awesome and I was just kind of like eh, it's just a bunch of orcs and like yeah, eh, like eh, or like it's like it's not even in our actual timeline So I'm like why do I yeah. care and then like I, you come here for like Garrosh, right? Like oh, man We got to follow Garrosh. You escape back and then it's like he just dies like while you're leveling. You're just like, oh Oh, okay. no <laughs> Yeah <laughs> I guess that's like the one thing that Wrath of the Lich King had, and it did so well, was that it had that constant threat of the big end boss, mm -hmm. like, everywhere. And, you know, he didn't just randomly die throughout. There wasn't a big twist or anything. It was just like, the whole thing was just this huge lead up to, like, you know, encountering this this guy that was so prominent, like, in the in the other games. and yeah so 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 ingrained in the lore and everything and, and it was, he was like warcraft's darth vader yeah like, that's what exactly. he was and now it's like we need like another darth vader or something like, <laughs> yeah. like we need who, something yeah who is the new guy like who is the big bad guy now or is it just like the 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 war chiefs of the well, that's kind of what i've always Draenor thought plans. as well like in tbc we had illidan right and everyone's like oh yeah illidan's everywhere like illidan's like got all his you know like control and outland and everything and then you go to north Rend's like arthas is the bad guy you know he's the evil villain you're like oh shit arthas and then cataclysm you're like deathwing and i was still kind of like eh. but like yeah. he's it i was like it wasn't as cool as like illidan or arthas but he was still like all right a, a like, big dragon yeah, yeah he's still a big like... dragon like burn shit down and everything yeah. and then pandaria they're just like it's garrosh going insane <laughs> like oh all right yeah <laughs> which like, was yeah. Again, like Mr. Pandaria, like a lot of people sort of say, you know, you talk to people about Mr. Pandaria and they're like, oh, it just seems so random. It didn't really have anything to do with anything. Like, who are these pandas? Like the panda yeah. thing with like started as a joke, didn't it? And then they yeah. just sort of like brought it into the lore and stuff. And it was it was OK. But I think I think Pandaria was really good for the game mechanically, wasn't it? Like yeah. sort of, it introduced like a lot of like the stuff that we sort of now take for granted but before we had it it was like remember how hard it used to be to make like a five-man group to effectively do a, dun a heroic dungeon in tbc yeah like it was hard as hell like and you could only pull from people on your server too so if you mm. were on a low pop server forget it like i remember being in a guild on a low pop server in in tbc like like on a on an alt and it was really hard to find a, a group of people that actually had sort of experience doing heroics that could like crowd control mobs and stuff because you had to do all that shit remember like yeah they, they were pretty hard they were pretty they were tuned like pretty hard and like it was still at that point in the game where you know raiding and everything was i don't know like the 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 end tbc raids were very much sort of like you had to like go for certain builds and you had to do certain things but a lot of the raids before that were just it almost seemed like just dumb luck that you got through them. Like not yeah. a lot of people knew what they were doing and stuff like that. But yeah, I remember the TBC heroics being very hard. And, you know, nowadays with like the cross server looking for dungeon and looking for raid and everything, you know, a lot of that stuff is, is a lot easier. I mean, you still get landed with some shitty groups from time to time, mm -hmm. but at least it's a group. Whereas like, I don't know, you remember just like sitting in Shatrath and like, you know, constantly begging trade chat <laughs> yeah. for a group to like some dungeon that nobody wanted to do it. Yeah. They needed to do it to get attuned to something or whatever. Yeah. It was like, ah, oh, it's crazy. And I but guess like, like Mr. Pandaria sort of introduced a lot of that stuff. 
Yeah, and I mean, back then they even, I felt like they had more five-man dungeons. Like, it just seemed like they had more five-man dungeons, they had more raids. And I think they had more raids too because you progress through tiers of raiding. Like, yeah. And it's like, so you like, everybody started with Karazhan. Like, you had to do Karazhan, just like you had to do Molten Core and you had, like, to get to Blackwing Lair. Like, and now it's kind of like, oh yeah, that first raid we released, you don't really have to do it. Like, you just move past it. And it's yeah. like, but why? Like, why? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, you made, you put all this effort into a raid, like, we should have to do it. And they're like, but then everyone doesn't get to see it. And it's like, well, too bad. That's what games are. It's not like, yeah, well... You know, like, I want to see the ending of Mario. It's like, well, then you gotta get there. You can't just, like, skip, like, ahead and shit. No, and even the warp pipes didn't take you straight to the end. Like, you yeah. still had to do some shit, you know? You still had to go to, like, giant land and stuff like that, <laughs> yeah. even if you didn't want to. It's just mm -hmm. the way that the game goes. Ah, uh, I don't know. Like, even you just mentioned Karazhan. Man, that was such a great raid, wasn't it? Like, it, it really was. was. I love It was Karazhan. really big, and it was long and everything, but, oh, it was just so cool. Like, I just... Felt like you were in like some haunted Disney castle or something. Yeah, like, just exactly. Fighting all these dudes and <laughs> playing chess. The chess event was like pretty yeah, cool. The chess event. It had really cool music to it. Like the yeah, operas. Like the opera thing was cool too. Like mm -hmm. it just it was so sort of out there, but it was so awesome too. Like you could tell yeah. they put a lot of, like a lot of time and effort into it. But th there was like rumors of it being tidied up or something, and where they might have reused it or they were planning on doing something yeah with it. i heard Remember something about that people data mined like a bunch of stuff and it was like there was some project to like tidy it up and like clear mm -hmm. out some of the doodads or something that were yeah i saw that what was the, did anything ever come of that i don't think so i think blizzard oh. people were just like yeah it was just like a test or something some 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 shit like that yeah but even yeah, yeah it's like the games change in so many ways and i I'll say it every time. I thought it got simplified for the better, like around Wrath and like a little after Wrath, and then it's progressively gotten oversimplified to the point yeah. where they need to like take a step back and be like, yeah. okay, <laughs> like maybe we should add like, you know, progressing through raid tiers instead of just having the same raid, but like four different difficulties. Yeah. Because uh, it's I, like, I, I just, I only want to do a raid, like, once. Maybe twice for, like, achievement stuff. But, like, I don't want to do it, like, four times. No. Like, and, and, you know, some people are doing them, like, you know, three or four times a week or whatever. And it seems like, I don't know. It seems, it seems like a bit much. It seems, it seems like a lot to sort of concentrate people into such a small sort of part of the game, you know, mm -hmm. given whatever it is that you're doing. When there's just, like, this whole world out there that... You know that they, they could make better use of almost you know like yeah. i like how they have like the lunar fair and like and shit like that and, yeah. yeah the holiday events and stuff but like it almost seems like they could you know they should they should do more they should make like the the world a bit more exciting because it's like yeah wow wow's strength has always been that it's just been this very sort of pretty um like social application right like yeah. you know you spend a, a vast amount of your time just like farting around in the cities and talking to your mm -hmm. friends and you know doing stuff and like waiting you know to raid or whatever but i don't know it seems like it seems like there'd almost be benefits in them introducing some some more shit to do that's not so hardcore sort of thing for people yeah. to stay interested and well, keep them like i've been thinking about too like i thought <laughs> it'd be cool if they like in the old zones did kind of what they did with the exploration boxes you know how like you'd run around and be like oh there's a like treasure chest over here and it gave you like a toy like yeah. all throughout draenor i thought that'd be cool if they did that but throughout azeroth and like yeah. maybe you'd go to winter spring like where we are now and you'd like find a little chest that like a little fur bulb pet and you're like whoa cool i got rewarded for just exploring the old zones you yeah know, and stuff like that i thought that'd be really cool It'd be cool, like, if they had, you know, you, you got garrisons in Draenor, and that's pretty cool or whatever. It'd be mm -hmm. cool if there was player housing in Azeroth. And, but it wasn't, yeah. you know, it doesn't have to be a garrison. Just give me a little hut somewhere where I can, like, hang up some trophies yeah. and stuff for my accomplishments and whatever. And I'd be pretty happy. Like, I don't even need to necessarily change it around much or anything. Like, you know. Have you just tried, be... like, a Final Fantasy? The... No. Recently, well, like... though. Final, like the MMO they have out, there's Final yeah. Fantasy 14, and I know a lot of people that play it, and in Final Fantasy 14, they have, like, guild housing, okay. and you can, like, decorate your guild house and do a bunch of stuff, and, like, I, I always see, like, people I know playing it, 
and they're just in the guild house and like half the time they spend is just in the guild house with like their friends and guild mates just goofing around and like changing the furniture and di like different rooms and like the more i saw that i was like that would be really cool to have in wow yeah like it would create a social environment it would let you like get some like you could get like furniture and stuff and at first you're like oh furniture but like you could make really cool furniture like yeah a tr like a oak carved tree from like hygel and it's like got the wood like from the trees uh, yeah. in hygel or like you could have like cool paintings and trophies and like there's so many cool things you, you could, could do. make like a rocket boosted elevator like you <laughs> yeah. know goblin style in your house and stuff like it'd be cool if it some of it like complemented your professions and stuff like that that'd mm -hmm. be pretty sweet too so or the if big it... thing with garrisons too is like it was such, it was such a solo experience for an yeah. mmo rpg it's like if it would had people and your friends in it it would be like so much better it would yeah i mean the fact that you could invite them over and do the invasions and stuff just felt so you know like they, they should have maybe expanded on that like a bit more mm. you know made it a little bit more interactive made it a place to hang out with your friends that wasn't necessarily like a city or whatever but mm -hmm. having said that i mean there's so many places in the big major cities like a lot of them are just deserted now, which seems yeah. like such a shame. You know, they must have spent so much time building these places. You know, like I think my favorite one was Dalaran, though, still mm -hmm. um, in Wrath of the Lich King, because it was it was like a sanctuary city where both factions were. And I don't know, there's just something about it. Like I just loved how everything was there. It was all central. You know, it was in a pretty good spot in relation to everything in Northrend as well. And it was just, I guess, for some people, it was really laggy, though. <laughs> Like, yeah. on, especially like on high pop servers, you used to like see people complain a lot about like, yeah. I can't zone into Dalaran. <laughs> Too many people. <laughs> like I love neutral cities too. Like I love Shatrath and Dalaran. And it was like, yeah. it was really cool seeing the other faction there too. Like yeah. it made it feel more alive and it was like a bustling city. And... Yeah. And like we didn't get, we didn't really get like a, a, a big city in Draenor because like, Remember when they announced Draenor, they were like, oh, yeah, you know, um, Alliance are going to have this nice big city that is like the, you know, Black Temple before it became mm -hmm. Black Temple. I can't even remember what it's called now. And um, is it called? yeah, that's right. <laughs> and Horde were going to have the, um, Frost the big Wolf place. Yeah, yeah. The big Frostwolf base that's just like overrun by ogres that you have to fight mm -hmm. for or whatever. But they never... Um, they, they, they sort of deviated away from that and everybody just sort of sticks to their garrisons now, don't they? Because there's not yeah. really anywhere, there's not, there's no real big city because even Shatrath is like, like a questing zone for like yeah. dailies and stuff like that and that would have been cool too because it looks yeah, very nice. Yeah, I thought nice. they were going to do that. I thought they were going to be like, and here's Shatrath, like the second coming. Oh my what? god. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Oh Prendor. my god. I, I, I'm using my abilities. I I can do this. Oh my god. Maybe All I can right. I'm dead. <laughs> You've died well, fishing. We died fishing. I don't know if I've actually died fishing before, honestly. What the hell does recap do? I think it just shows you like how you died. Oh my god, it does, yeah. <laughs> I've never yeah. seen this before. So kill shot, wow. The killing blow, kill shot, did forty two thousand yeah. damages on me. Yeah. You too? Yeah, let's see. Uh, a murder of crows did 1881. Or wait, 18,881. Oh my god. Holy, who is this badass? This it's is, X Chap. Uh, oh, he's taking pictures. Wow. Well, I think he's, I think he's I been think, hunting you down. I think so too. I think they know that we're fishing. Oh shit. And, uh, That's maybe. Gonna be that's going to be all over the World Wide Web it before is. you know it. Now. But maybe I should edit edit them out so they don't get recognition. <laughs> <laughs> Even like your voice saying their name. It's just like, oh, their name is Raw <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it looks like their name is Beep Beep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Shit. Now we got to do this. Now we got to do this really depressing corpse run in winter spring. That's true. But are we going to get ganked again is, is the question. Well, we can go to another zone. I mean, yeah, that's true. There's, it, it's a big old world of Warcraft. It is isn't a big it? old world, you know. So, so your favorite zone is Winter Spring, is that, or, or is that just one of your favorite zones? Do you it's have just, like an... it's one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites. I love Zangermarsh. 
I love. Yeah, Zangor Marsh is nice too, actually. Yeah, I love. Uh, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of zones I love. Like if I just go through and look at all of them, but it's like I like um I like um what's it called where uh where Booty Bay is uh, like yeah South Stranglethorn and like Stranglethorn and whatever they split it up. But even then, it's like I don't know. It's it's kind of cool, isn't it? It's like all piratey themed and it's like mm -hmm. the jungle and stuff and yeah. I, even in vanilla, before they changed it around in Cataclysm, they had like they always had like these like. I don't know. They just had these little paths that led off to like, you know, little like nezzing wary sort of <laughs> yeah. places and stuff. And I, I always just thought it was really cool. I liked hanging out there. And they, of course, they had the arena too. remember when yeah. people would like actually go there and fight and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I remember so, that. And then you'd like win stuff for doing like doing it, too. Yeah, absolutely. So like I when we were in um, in in Yogs, like the, the Alliance Guild Yogs mm -hmm. back in Vanilla, I used to play a human paladin in Yogs. I played a human paladin for years. I like played it into TBC and stuff as well. Mm -hmm. And um, they, so the community organized this huge PVP event um, for like, you know, guilds on the, on the server at the time, the realm at the time. Mm -hmm. And through the forums, you had to nominate your guild's champion sort of thing if you wanted to take part. So yeah. we were on like a we were on like a um a role playing PVP server, right? So mm -hmm. like we'd always like as a guild we'd always enter stuff like that because it was always very funny to do so. You yeah. know, like you get to see like all these people like role playing and yeah. going to like, you know, Goldshire and like, you know, getting it on in the inn and stuff like that. We we were <laughs> yeah. always like forever looking for this kind of stuff. So they so they nominated me to be the the champion <laughs> for, for Yogs to enter this PVP event, and the PVP event took place at the arena. So there was like a big thing where it was like, you know, okay, fine, you know, both factions can enter. Can we have like a ceasefire like while the event is on? It was like all organized through the community, and it, it all sort of worked out well. You know, you, you turned up and nobody ganked you or anything. And, you know, people actually sat in the bleachers to, like, watch <laughs> the duels and stuff like that. So the big thing was that I was going to bubble hearth yeah. out and, like, and not fight at all sort of thing. Yeah. So, um, so, so I did. <laughs> I just, <laughs> like, literally I bubble hearth and spammed a macro that somebody wrote for me, which was, like, I'm a little teapot, but it was, like, I'm a little paladin. <laughs> Short and stout, and watch me bubble hearth out or something like that. And I just spammed that while I bubble hearth and uh, and I hearth back to like Stormwind or whatever. Um, and we we lost the tournament, but it was worth it. It was really fun, just like a really fun thing to do in WoW back then. <laughs> I mean, I think there's a video of it somewhere. Oh possibly. really? Yeah, it was, it was good times, man. It's like a lot of people turned up for that, took it very seriously. Yeah, I mean, it's like, those are the little me. moments that, like, yeah. everybody remembers. They're just, like, the fun little moments. Doing my signature bubble hearth move. I remember, <laughs> I remember like, any time, like, a rogue would, you know, open up on me to gank me or whatever. Straight away, bubble hearth. I'm out of there. <laughs> just be in the middle of, like, mining or something. No problem. Yeah. I'm safe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little moments, right? It's, it's so good. Well, uh... Yeah. I flew over to the uh, waterfall between Winter Spring Hydral and Azshara. Oh my god. And it's raining here. It's bit, that's that's pretty romantic, actually. Yeah. I'm coming. So uh, I'm just going to start fishing here. I know there is a, a pirate story you talked about. You should probably tell the pirate story. Oh, the pirate story. Yeah, okay. So the pirate story goes as such. We had um, we were raiding Blackwing Lair back in the day, right? Forty mm. man Blackwing, Blackwing, <laughs> Blackwing Lair. Black raid. Lair. <laughs> yes. Uh, and we were all about progression back then too. Like, so we um, we had the serve. We 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 defeated Ragnaros in Molten Core Forty Man. We we did it. We were the first people on our realm to do it. It was really exciting. It was very fun, and uh, we were we were mad into raiding, so we. Every week we would raid Blackwing Lair. We were working on AQ40 and stuff as well, and uh, and doing pretty well. And um, we had this thing in the guild where it was always like this funny thing for whatever reason to to roll a female dwarf because they mm -hmm. were just kind of ugly and short and stuff. And yeah. 
whatever. And so a lot of people rolled them. And um, our main tank at the time was not a female dwarf. He was a male dwarf. Uh, he's very good. He had a lot of good gear. He'd, he'd been raiding for a while and stuff. And we, you know, we, we had him as the main tank. So there was one boss in Blackwing Lair. And I, can't, I ne can never remember his name. He was a dragon. It's like a fire dragon. And he was like... Right after the, the shitty fucking gauntlet, you know, the one where yeah. the rogues had to disable the traps. Mm -hmm. He was in between that and, like, the lab part. Yeah. Remember which one I'm talking about? I think yeah, it was I know like, what you're talking about. Was it, about. like, e Ebon Rock or something? I can't, yeah, I think or, it was Ebon Rock. Something like that. Right. Anyway. So the tactic of the day at the time was for the tank to pull him into the corner, like, in this hallway. This little hallway. He had to pull him into the corner. And there's, like, this little pillar in the way. Mm -hmm. It's like a little half height pillar, which wasn't really much of a problem, but because uh, our tank was a dwarf, he was too short and he would be hidden behind the pillar. So as a healer, and I was a paladin healer in, in 40 man raids, um, mm -hmm. we would never have line of sight of him, right? He'd have to jump and stuff. And even then it was like touch and go, you know, we, we'd miss heals because of line of sight because he was behind this pillar. Yeah. And the idea was that you had to tank him in this corner because he did this, like, flame buffet. <laughs> <laughs> flame buffet. <laughs> flame buffet. And he'd present out this really elaborate buffet for everybody to eat. Yeah, it's got, you know, scrambled eggs, to. ham, had, bacon. Had, yeah, had the yeah, works. Everything. And, um, but you had to avoid it because it was just, like, this massive um, carb intake that nobody wanted <laughs> to have any of it. So, <laughs> so um, he had to be pointed away from the raid, as a lot of bosses do. And he had to like be pointed in this corner so that the tank would just soak up like all of his his buffet. <laughs> and um, because the dwarf was short and he was hidden behind the pillar, he would always end up dying because we didn't have line of sight. So um, we were just like we were really just like racking our brains like how the fuck are we going to beat this boss? Like it's impossible to to use this tactic. The line of sight thing is a real issue. Like what the hell can we do? And then somebody in the raid was just like. Well, maybe, like, have him eat one of those fish that turns him into a pirate, um, <laughs> a human pirate, and he'll be taller then, right? And then yeah. we won't have line of sight issues. <laughs> the deviant so eats, delight, that's what it that's, was called. That's right, yeah. So he eats the fish and turns into the pirate, and then one-shot him, like, straight up. <laughs> it was, it was, and it was, I'll never forget it. It was just, again, it was just one of those moments in WoW where you're just like, I can't fucking believe that. Like, I cannot <laughs> believe that this has worked. You know, we've, like, overcome this difficulty by eating a fucking fish. <laughs> Turning this guy into a pirate, hilariously, and then beating a boss that we'd been trying. Like, I mean, we'd tried. We'd been wiping on him for, like, quite some time, too. So it was, like, it was pretty exciting. I remember being, like, on Vent at the time, because we used Vent as our, like, you know, voice comms Communication. thing. And, like, I had to take my headphones off because people were screaming so loud. Like, everybody was so, like, happy and laughing at the fact that pirate thing worked and stuff and it yeah. was like it was really good actually i mean we were like competing with like another guild at the time for progression and stuff because yeah. it was just sort of the thing to do back then so it was like really important that we killed this boss <laughs> <laughs> but the way that we did it was just like so funny and sort of such a like a a thing that like our guild would do as well like it was just perfect it was like this perfect moment it was really good. <laughs> man i kind of miss raiding like for yeah. stuff like that, you know, you think back and you're like, oh shit, yeah, raiding was really fun. <laughs> yeah. But you would you 40 other... man raid now? Like, oh god. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know if I would. It was messy as hell, wasn't it? It was like... Molten yeah. Core took hours. Oh god, so did Blackwing Lair. It really did. I had like nothing to do back then too. Like, I was just a high school kid. Like, I got no... I'm just... I'm not doing homework. Yeah. Book <laughs> report? No way. <laughs> Yeah, raiding to do. I mean, I wasn't in high school when Vanilla came out. Like, I was like 24 years old, so yep. I didn't have an excuse. I had a job and everything, but still, I didn't care. It was like raiding. It was raiding with the best of them like That's on a Sunday afternoon about. and stuff. Whatever. I didn't care. <laughs> That's what I talked about too earlier. It's like people be like, well, people have moved on with their lives, so they don't play WoW as much anymore because they got families and stuff. I'm like, that's not true. Because they still no. play a bunch of games and ignore their family. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Like, I, yeah. I just, I, I currently ignore my family whilst <laughs> playing Dota 2 now, like, pretty obsessively as well. Like, it's almost becoming, like, 
almost a problem, but you know, you <laughs> just gotta tread problem. that line like you did with WoW all those years yeah. ago. Like, it's just... and they're just like, why don't you spend time with us? It's like, well, why don't you learn to play Dota? You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it can be a fam. Like, if you have a family of five, you're set. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta carve out some roles, and you know, you gotta crack the whip a little bit so that everybody does what they're meant to be doing but you, you can win games can yeah. you imagine imagine like imagine like in a couple of years time like there's like the international eight or whatever and like some team is legitimately a family like a mom and dad and three kids as like a pro team holy shit I think that would revolutionize esports. Like I think that'd be crazy. that would be pretty great it's like the family tournament I'd watch a family tournament I would that totally would be amazing. Watch a family tournament, yeah. Even if it was like semi-pro or not even pro, but mm -hmm. just families that could coherently throw together like a Dota lineup and you know go at it. Mm -hmm. Fuck, that'd be great. Just like people buy like instead of team shirts like Cloud Nine or whatever, it'd be like family names. <laughs> just yeah. like the Johnsons. The yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! I would be like right front row, like screaming my head off, cheering. It's well. like some little like nine year old kid, just like oh, I got this. He's just like, God damn it, Timmy! I'm picking up, <laughs> Timmy. You gotta carry harder. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, they like the roles have to be like assigned. Like the carry has to be like the like eight to twelve year old kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he's gonna have like way better APM, right? Than like yeah. the dad. Mm -hmm. The dad's got to take like more of a sort of like be the tank. team captain role, but yeah, yeah the tank gotta, and the like, team captain. That's right. He's got to soak up all the damage, but you know he doesn't have to have like those lightning fast reflexes <laughs> or anything either. Yeah. Oh man, that like, that would be something me. special. Fuck, that would be great. I would love that. I, I would, would honestly that. watch that like more than anything. I think I would too, actually. And especially if they did sort of like a behind the scenes, like some mm -hmm. training and stuff and like all the drama and everything. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I would gobble uh, that up. I really would. Someone needs to get on that. So do you think like, <laughs> do you think that like, I don't know about you, but like, I mean, we were saying before, like MOBAs have sort of like replaced MMOs for me, but like mm -hmm. they're not the same kind of games at all, you know, like, yeah, but I like, but why would a game genre replace another one like that you know like most people yeah. expect that like when they got tired of wow they move on to like another mmo because they play so much of an mmo that it would be like oh you know just gotta find a new mmo or whatever but mm -hmm. i find myself less interested in mmos now and like more interested in playing you know sort of mobile like games or you know fucking stupid ipad games and shit <laughs> that you spend a lot of time on or whatever yeah. but i don't know why that is it's like such a weird thing isn't it I think like, MOBA games are more addicting, like, in, in a drug way. Like, well, maybe. I'm, I think, like, with WoW, it was probably the most, I think it was mo the most addicting game of its time. And then, yeah. like, as we moved on, League of Legends and Dota and all those games are very addicting. Because it's kind of, like, bite-sized. It's almost like a bite-sized raid, in a way. Yeah, I guess it is, yeah. Because you still need that coordination and, and stuff. And you need, you know, some people have to... Of course, like bring skill to the table. It's never mm. me. <laughs> yeah, me. Quite happy to be carried. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I suppose it is. Bite sized rating, rating is probably a really good way of looking at it. Yeah, and you have like the competitive aspect of PvP mixed in with like working as a team. It's almost like doing a boss fight, like a like an hour, forty minute to like hour long boss fight. And it's just True. like, are we gonna get? Him? Are we gonna win? Are we gonna get him? And it's like we lost. And it's like, yeah, all you get right. Those crushing defeats but then you get the, those just like incredible victories from time mm -hmm. to time too that just sort of keep you playing and you're just like oh yeah oh, oh yeah god <laughs> i got 20 kills this time i'm the best and in your next game you just like never get to leave your base <laughs> just dead all the time 20 minute surrender yeah yeah god jesus christ yeah i don't know i guess that 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 must be it then because the like worst is I afk just, people too you're just oh like, this gosh! One's over. Yeah, <laughs> or yeah, and they just AFK ahead of like like a concede or um, AFK or or pretend to sort of like be AFK if you like to. Like in Dota, they've got this. You can't concede in in Dota, right? But yeah. um, you know, people will just sit in the well and occasionally just go out to get into XP <laughs> yeah. so that they don't like disconnect or sort of like the game detects them as like not doing anything, sort of yeah. thing. 
Fuck. <laughs> those are the worst too, but I guess it happens. It's like it's one yeah. of those things. Sometimes you get a really good team, and other times you just get a really shit team. Yeah, <laughs> it just it's falls like the apart. game just t- it tries to determine like, all right, you've been winning a lot lately. Let's see if you can work with the shitties. And it's just like, oh man, yeah. <laughs> time for you to get a couple of losses. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't it's, wanna lose. I remember my promo to get to gold, like just to get to gold in League of Legends. I got an AFK guy. And we had a 4v5, and I was like, I just wanted, I just, I was so close. But we ended up winning the 4v5, and I was like, oh, this was nice. the greatest moment of my life. Yeah, and yeah, and from, <laughs> like, it's things like that that get you hooked on those games, yeah. too. You know, it's just, like, such a, such a great feeling, you know, winning against all the odds and stuff. And, like, mm-hmm. realizing that the game can go that way and everything. I don't know. It's just... I love making people angry, too. And making them frustrated. I guess that's kind of <laughs> like a... <laughs> yeah, like one some, of those, like, I there's love something immensely pain. satisfying to sit there, <laughs> making somebody angry or frustrated yeah. it's like, like that's why i love playing teemo i'll always play teemo top lane and i just spam things like when i'll kill someone i'm like i'll never underestimate the scouts code and they're just like <laughs> i hate you so much yeah <laughs> People really fucking hate Timo. I they mean, really funnily do. Funny enough, Timo is also my favorite League of Legends. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. such like a troll champion. He it's really so is, isn't he? But he's mm-hmm. he he can be like really powerful as well. You yeah. know, like he's got that little blowpipe and stuff. And yeah, just... he's very strong early game. Poison like, and the blinds and the yeah. surprise mushroom kills and stuff. Yeah, he's... like I love. Uh... I remember I killed one guy, and then he came back to lane, and I told my friend to gank top lane, and I just sat in the bush stealth, and so, like, the guy kept pushing out, and right when he came back, we just ganked him again. So he died, like, twice in a matter of, like, 40 seconds. Oh. <laughs> and he just, like, you tell he was done. He was just yeah. like, oh, I'm done, this is stupid. It's and like that, the- like, sparks their team to go into, like, a downfall spiral, just like, I'm done. Like, don't be done, idiot. And he's like, you're an idiot. And then they start arguing. Yeah, yeah. Or you hear nothing from them, and you could tell that they're, like, infighting hardcore because they're talking in team chat. And then all of a sudden, sort of out of nowhere, you'll just get, like, a public chat that says, like, report so-and-so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know that they've just been fighting their, their their balls off with each other the whole time, blaming yeah. each other for being shit and stuff. And then, you see them, like, stop farming and start typing. And you just yeah. see them standing there. Yeah, trash talking and stuff. <laughs> That's one thing that, unfortunately, I know, like, I know why Heroes of the Storm doesn't have all that, but, like, I, I find trash talking is just such an integral part of the MOBA experience. <laughs> know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you just want to really trash talk, but, yeah. like, you can same with hearthstone like i know the the emotes themselves are like kind of like um i don't know like frustrating enough yeah. i suppose but sometimes you, like you know like on reddit you always get like these posts where it's like oh looks like i made someone's day and it's like somebody <laughs> somebody friends you after like a really salty game of hearthstone yeah. and they're like oh i hope you get hit by a bus <laughs> I hope you die of genital warts and stuff. Like, you're just like, yo, gosh, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's because, like, you'll play them, and then, like, you don't have the ability to chat, but you can, like, be so trolly with the emotes, just like, well played, well played, thanks, oh, good nice, God. good play. And that's just like, they're just doing so bad, you know, they're just freaking out. The worst is Control Warrior, though, you know, when they play their fucking millionth, you know, <laughs> armor gaining card <laughs> yeah. and, and, and they know that they've got you in a corner and you can't yeah. chip through all that armor <laughs> greeting <laughs> well <Fuck played>. off <laughs> it's the worst it really is the worst it's almost more effective than trash talking in a way when you think about it early i have been very angry at it's just like passive aggressive like trash talk it is it is like <laughs> super passive aggressive i think that's what's so frustrating about it mm-hmm. worst Man, what a spot. Look, the sun is setting and everything. I know. I'm going to go check it out. It's See actually later. rising right now. Oh, is it? Yeah, because it's like super early in the morning here. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're on the U.S. servers, of course. Yeah. Oh, oh man. It was a fresh new day. It's a fresh, it's a fresh new day in the world of Warcraft. <laughs> what would you get up to today? Well... <laughs> Maybe I'll just manage my garrison a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to go exploring too much. That might be d- dangerous. Dude, there's not enough there. raids. <laughs> there aren't enough raids for me in this game. I don't need to gather professions. They're all right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I made my one video 
and it's called Warlords of Draenor in a minute, and half the video is, like, this guy, like, yelling at everyone, like, are you guys ready to have the most fun of your life? And then the guy's like, yeah! And then he's like, oh, I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to them, and all the followers are like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's true, though, right? They get yeah. to do all the shit now. And some and, guy like, was you like... you can't even manage them from your phone or anything, like... Yeah, like, it's I thought it'd be problems. really cool if, like, you could manage it from your phone. I was like, this would be perfect for my phone. And they're yeah. like, no. Uh, you can't do that. I'm like, God, oh. there's at least five minutes a day where I'm not at my computer where I could really benefit from going on my phone and playing WoW instead. Yeah. But, you know, I can't do that. And I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like a little bit let down by that as well. They missed out. That was a really good opportunity to make like a phone thing with the garrisons, and they just they missed out on it. I think I think the phone thing with the garrisons would render WoW into like almost like like an IV sort of thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, you just never disconnect from the game, would you? You'd just be constantly. Yeah. I mean, they got Hearthstone that's, for your phone, and like a... that's true. Yeah, I don't know. Hearthstone's more involving though. You actually have to yeah. play. It. Yeah, it's not the oh. same. Garrisons, you don't really do anything. You just you know. Beep, Send boop, people beep, on a mission. Of buttons yeah. That, you know, epics from time yeah. to time. It's great. Yeah. Maybe, well, who knows? It's coming. I mean, if they're going to put flying in Draenor, which they said they were never going to do, mm -hmm. then, um, you know, maybe we're going to get garrisons on the on tablets and phones. Who knows? Well, that's the thing. I heard they might be moving past garrisons this next expansion, too. But I hope they do really? like player housing instead. That'd be really cool. Maybe this was like a, a blueprint. For the, yeah. the guild housing or something. That'd be really cool. Yeah. But, I think like they said that a lot of the sort of slowdowns and and stuff with Draenor was the garrison stuff. Because mm -hmm. they had so many new like art assets and stuff to make. Well, I mean, yeah. I don't know if this is true, but this is just what I've heard. Mm -hmm. That it took them forever to, to get it together. And you know, they do look nice. Like yeah. they look nice. But um I guess you know, they actually had to sort of like shelve some features because of that, because it was like slowing it down yeah. or whatever. And the character models, all the updated character models. Yeah. Too. That's yeah. Another big one. I wonder if like Draenor is going to turn out to be sort of like a, like a Empire Strikes Back sort of thing where it was just like a, yeah, okay, here's like a pretty cool setting that everybody could be really excited about. But actually, we're just using this to like roll out a bunch of shit that we really need to do to make the next yeah. expansion like incredible or something. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, I hope so too. Holy shit. So, I mean, they're announcing it's by the time this video goes up, everybody will know so that we'll sound really stupid. Just like, I wonder what it is. <laughs> yeah, everybody will no. know already, but like, <clears throat> okay, like place, your, make, place your yeah, bets then before gotta they make go. Predictions. Up. Okay, right. go. I think it's going to be Azjara because I think we're going to, they want to go back to kind of the roots of like Warcraft 3 and like kind of get some of that lore going again from yeah. like Arthas and Illidan. So, I think we're going to go back to Warcraft 3. It's going to be Queen Azjara. And like yeah. the Naga, and we're gonna, I think it's gonna be the like Naga city, like Nazjatar. It's like whenever you play Warcraft three and you click the Naga, they're always like for Nazjatar. That's and right, yeah. So that'd be really cool to go see that, and then the South Seas, like the go South back Seas, to Azeroth. Yeah. yeah, we'll have like pirate ships and shit. Oof. I think that'd be really cool, and like we get to go to like all these islands in the middle of Azeroth we haven't seen before. Maybe like redo. I thought I thought it'd be cool if they'd kind of phase some old zones because they have phasing technologies and everything. Like maybe we go back to like uh, a low level zone like Westfall or something, and like it's been phased. Like the pirates are attacking it from like the South Seas or like oh yeah, or, like God, something yeah. like Stranglethorn. Like maybe Stranglethorn, like that's right by the South Seas. They're getting attacked. Of all by the, the places you could launch an attack on in Azeroth, <laughs> yeah, Westfall. <laughs> 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 Take that Westfall. So strategically important because it's, it's just a ton of wheat fields. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh man, hey, I know what you mean. That's though. the like, wheat. It, Nobody's it gonna is. have any wheat anymore. No, that's it. And if there's no wheat, then you know, obviously, then um, you know, what's it called? Oh, Fucking famine. Stormwind is just gonna starve out, and yeah. that's it. Yeah, that's the end of the <laughs> alliance. That's how it's gonna. Yeah. It's, Westfall is gonna be the downfall. <laughs> I feel no you know what like I think my prediction is like pretty much the same because I think like was it like a year ago or maybe before the last BlizzCon remember um leading up to BlizzCon there was a leak on like all of these like names that they'd registered trademarks for mm -hmm. and everybody there was something to do with uh like a Shara or something like that yeah um, wasn't like I the eye of yeah something like that and everybody yeah. thought that that was going to be the Hearthstone expansion 
or mm-hmm. a lot of people did anyway. But then they announced uh, goblins versus gnomes. Yeah. Uh, instead so everybody's like okay well overwatch uh was also registered and and that's obviously its own game yeah. which leaves out eye of Ashara, like, which yeah. still hasn't been announced or, or or been used for anything but the tricky thing with wow expansions is that they've always got about two or three of them planned out yeah that's true and they they start working on the next one uh, after they release the current one sort of thing so it's like it could be the next one or that could be two expansions down the road yep. or something like it, it's so hard to tell but i think i'm gonna go with that too i think it's yeah. gonna be something to do with the shara something to do with like the you know pirates and naga and all that or kind at of least shit like something that's good like leading into that where like we can kind of clearly see like okay i can see how this could lead into like a jara yeah stuff because sea. there's there's some speculation that maybe illidan can come back somehow or that he is mm. coming back or, or something i don't know how oh, that works but... okay New th- this could be like a big night elf expansion, right? We get into like a lot of night elf lore, maybe some trolls, and like Ooh. we see like Illidan's like backstory. Maybe we get a little bit more into Illidan, and Illidan comes back, and then he teams up with Azjara oh, in the following expansion. Maybe uh. you never know. You never know. Mm-hmm. But either way, I think whatever it is, it's gonna have to be pretty fucking exciting. Yeah, because I think now. You know, if subscriber counts are like lower than they've ever been, or lower for lower than they've been for a long time, or whatever, they're really going to have to pull something out of the bag, right, to keep people yeah. to get people back in. But I think they've realized now that WoW doesn't appeal to a, a new new crowd, right? Yeah. Like your average sort of younger person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> young the young person. people the young Those persons young out there no no but like when you like like when i said blizzcon like last year uh, i was talking to like some people um some and young they were saying like you know oh do you still play lots of wow i was like yeah yeah you know I, i'm looking forward to the new expansion i'll play it when it comes out like i love wow and everything mm-hmm. and i'm like what about you like you into wow and they're like no not really you know i play starcraft or i play diablo or i play you know whatever mm-hmm. uh, and and i it, i was i'm always like what really like you, you don't play wow and they're like no i just like i just never got into it you know like i was really young when it came out um i remember my dad playing it <laughs> and like <laughs> I never got into it, and now I look at it, and it just like looks a bit goofy, and like it's it, it hasn't aged well or whatever. And mm. like I'm just sitting there thinking, like, what? It fucking <laughs> How looks dare amazing. You? It still looks incredible, yeah. like to me. Like I find this game beautiful. Like I, yeah. I can spend so much time in it, and it's so nostalgic for me and everything. Mm. But I guess if you're new to the game, like from the outside looking in, maybe it's not that appealing. But I've they also certainly seen, like met a lot of people though that like started playing like this less expand like Mists of Pandaria around there and like they really like it. Yeah. So I mean it's kinda like but I don't know if they have the same like likeness or enjoyment of it that we have, like such a deep seated love of the game. I know. Well I I mean I've been playing since release, so it's like yeah. I guess it'll always have this like special place in my I'm not going to say heart. That's like so cliche. <laughs> yeah. This is a special place like brain. in my butt for, <laughs> in my for brain. this game. The part yeah. of my brain that stores part this of my information. Brain that just, yeah, that just <laughs> loves this game so very much. But um, yeah, it's a, a weird one. But oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm always excited about a WoW expansion. Yeah. Like I, I said, like, it's a new season. It's a new sports uh, season coming up. Exactly. And are we going to just be like a crampy expansion team or is this going to be the one? Like, is this going to be like the Stanley Cup season for mm. WoW or something? Like, it's it. so hard to tell, but it's so exciting at the same time. Especially if you like, if you're into WoW and you're emotionally invested in <laughs> WoW at yeah. this point, probably. <laughs> oh, God. I'm pumped. All right. I mean, I'm also, you mentioned Stanley Cup and I'm a Blackhawks fan. And we've won like three out of the last six years. That's, that's got to count for something. Yeah, that's got to count for something. That's going to make WoW good again. Maybe. Yeah, maybe Black the Hawks. stars have aligned now. And that's <laughs> like, it's going to happen. That'd be great. All right. All right. My, my grand total then. I've got mm-hmm. 42 raw rainbow fin albacores. Yes. Uh, and 17 oily black mouths. <laughs> Is that no. a pretty good haul? That's a pretty good haul. I think That's I've got more stuff haul. in here too that I'm just like missing. I think it went. Oh yeah, no, sorry. I've got 42 raw red gills, mm-hmm. 35 raw white scale salmons, um, and oh shit, there's more here. I have 27 <laughs> raw slither skin mackerels as well. Shit, dude. That's pretty and, intense. And uh, 
did I say 42 raw night pin snappers too? I don't think you did. That's oh, a here. that's a solid haul. Here's an that's underwater a... blingtron. <laughs> oh yeah, the underwater blingtron. Man, I fucking oh, yeah, totally I can, uh... forgot about old blingtron. Yeah, I'm gonna get my quest from him. Nice. Oh, Let's guess what I got it. today? That's right, broken weapon attachment. <laughs> I got some party grenades. Twenty-five silver. Next we have cloth. Oh, you fucking. <laughs> Party grenade time. Oh, I got three gear spring parts. Those are kind of useful, right? Yeah. Sort of. Oh man, look at me go. Look at that. We're dancing with the party grenade. Uh, yeah. cause it's a party. You know, we're about to find out a new Y expansion. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah. party time. Woo! Of course, <laughs> oh, yeah. people watching this are gonna be like, "Well, actually, the party's over now." <laughs> but <laughs> actually, us, I do not like the new expansion. I mean, idea. they're it's... announcing it like like in a couple hours. Like three hours. Oh, Less than three hours. Man, now. this is intense. I gotta so, clear my schedule. Yeah. That that means no Dota today. <laughs> no family time today. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man, I can't wait. All right. So thank you for joining me. That was Thanks fun. for having me. That was yeah. great. We'll have to do it again sometime. Yeah, I feel like I didn't even ask you like the typical like, so how'd you get into Warcraft and stuff? I mean, it's kind of like ranted about everything. I've got too many WoW stories. You have to have yeah. me back multiple times to get right down to the nitty gritty, I think. Yeah. You may be my first like repeat guest. Okay, great. I look forward yeah. to it. Yeah. All right. I never know how to end these. I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't know. Uh, so me let's too. let's just... Uh... I just laugh a bit and then say bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ha 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 